Um, I'm accidentally redoing the laundry room. So hopefully John doesn't get mad. Alright guys, so um, I'm accidentally redoing the laundry room. I figured I wasn't going to record it, but I was in there working and I was like, you're going to regret this if you don't record it. So I'm going to go in here and show you what I have got done so far and then I'm going to show you um, the rest of the process, I guess. So hopefully John doesn't get mad. He won't. But this was a spur of the moment thing. I'll show you what started it and I'm going to show you where we're at. Okay, so. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because the air conditioner is on. If not, I'll just do a voiceover. Um, but my plan was to just paint this area white because it is kind of dingy. Like, not dingy, but it's just not bright in here like I want it to be. We're getting ready to replace this lot with one like we just put into the kitchen. Um, probably grab that tomorrow while we're out because, oops, I'm doing it. Um, but I wanted to try to... I'm going to leave this as the main color because these things weigh like 100 billion 11 pounds. That's a number. Look it up. Um, and I cannot get them out. And even with John's help, they're just kind of irritating. So I wanted to leave the main color, but I wanted it to be brightened up a little bit. So I'm going to paint this wall white. And then as I was painting it, I got a little bit up there. And I thought maybe I'll do like a little triangle with white and then maybe a little bit of black. And then next thing I know, this... This is where we're at. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping I don't regret it. If I do, I've got gray paint. I can cover it up. You'll never see this. So, this is where I'm at for the designs. I know I'm going to do some white. I got a dark, a darker gray, not much, just like a little bit darker gray. I want to use that as well. I might buy a brown at Lowe's for the triangle. I don't know. We'll see. But I got these shapes. I'll probably do maybe one coming out down there and then maybe something right there to kind of just tie it all together. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I don't know where it came from. It just it just happened. That's why there's still clothes there um, because I just had moved everything over so that I could work here and then we're accidentally here. So pray for me. Not really, but you know, this man of mine might not be too happy that I'm doing this. So I'm probably not going to paint this until tomorrow um this little line right here is still off i gotta fix that so i'm excited i hope i don't regret it but i'm excited so yeah we're gonna we're gonna see what happens we're gonna figure out together scared and excited so but my washer is actually rose like a rose gold color and because of the color in here you don't even, you can't tell like i can't tell it looks like goldish but we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes
of summer. I didn't plan on vlogging this, recording it, whatever. Those I just left because I was just gonna rig it up uh, because I wasn't really doing this for intense of anybody really seeing it. Just for myself to lighten it up in here and well, this is either gonna be one of the greatest things I ever did or the biggest regrets. We'll find out together, I guess. So we do have the first coat on. I'm gonna let it dry really good. I might come back in here later and go ahead and put the second coat on or I might just wait until tomorrow. We'll wait and see. You'll know when I know, I guess, you know, how video work editing goes. Um, so, yeah, it's loud in here. I wish I could turn the air off, but it is hot. So, can't do that. So, I'm gonna let this dry, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow or tonight, but for you, it'd be right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat of paint here. Um, I went ahead and added a couple more down here. This, that was a messed up spot. That was my inspiration. We're just going to be honest here. Um, I am getting out the paint. I might have to get out the paint though. No promises. I'm hoping I don't have to. I'm hoping that I just love this and it's just wonderful and I don't have to get the paint out. Okay. Okay. So I kind of have an idea of what we're going to do as far as color wise. I took a picture of it and then put it into my iPad and just colored it in just to see ish. And so I think we know what we're going to do here. I was going to do some back here like I mentioned. I think I mentioned that. But I got up there and I taped it all off and I just didn't like it. I think it's going to be too much if I keep pushing it farther. So I think we're going to just call this good for now. See how that looks. And if I want to add more, I'll add more. And if I need to paint it all back, well, you won't see this video at all. So um, yeah, I think we're just going to jump in here. I'm just going to do white black and then the paint in here which you can't see i don't know if it's going to show up this is two different colors it actually is this much darker than this we're going to use this gray white and black to fill this in did not end up putting the colors where I said I was going to um, after you know looking at it closer I changed my mind at this point I don't know if I actually went with what I planned on doing um, but the end results I'm pretty happy with so you'll see that in a minute well you know eventually in a few minutes um, but I just went in with a brush and brushed it on with the white here you will see that I did try to use the roller but in the end, the roller was just too big to try to fit into the small spaces. I just worried about it having, like, streaks, like you can see from a brush sometimes. Um, but I just brushed it. I put it on thin, and then I just brushed it in, I guess. And it helped take away most of those brush lines. So, just in case you ever need to paint a small space, but you don't want to see the brush lines... Just make sure that you don't have excess paint. Paint it as thin as possible and then you won't see those as much. So we're going to go back in and go in with this gray which, spoiler alert, um, when it was all said and done I did not like the way the gray looked. The just two grays was too different I guess. Um, the main wall is more of a muted gray with just a hint of blue. Just a hint. It doesn't really show up on here. It's barely there, but the other gray is more like a dirty, dark gray. 
and they just I didn't like the way that it looked once I stepped back from it so you will see that I go back in with some brown paint and fix that but yeah we're going to get back in here and get this done <music> And I know there's going to be at least one person that's going to say it. So I'm going to save you the trouble. Um, when you ask why I didn't use painter's tape around the edge here. Well, I hate painter's tape. It's from the devil. Okay, not really. But maybe. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I actually think that it doesn't do its job anyways for the most part. Um, so John, of course, has taught me how to just do stuff without using the painter's tape. Maybe it takes a little bit more time in the beginning but in the end you don't have to worry about going back and fixing the edges that the painter's tape might have messed up or su such so yeah you'll see when i pull off this tape um i just always just take my time go slow sometimes i will just go back in with a small brush like a school brush one that you would use for projects and stuff and um i just tend to go back in with one that you would do like picture painting with I guess and fix the little edges that I can't get into without messing it up it's just so much easier Wendy is wanting something similar to this on her wall and when we do it I told her that we probably won't even use tape at all um we would just freehand it you know write it out with pencils or whatever and then just make sure we paint it on straight because I think it'd be just be so much easier so yeah just in case you're going to be like, why didn't you use painter's tape? There's your answer. I hate it. We hate it around here. Okay.
and that has the final coats of that paint yeah that's how i'm feeling at this point um with the tape on it i was not a fan i was so afraid that i was gonna hate this it just i don't like the way it looks when i got down and looked at it i didn't like the gray paint obviously i already told you that so i did go ahead and just go back in with brown and paint over top of it now i'm gonna be real honest here this was not wall paint this was just acrylic craft paint um but your girl is impatient so i was just like i ain't gonna wait till i go to lowe's so i just used the acrylic paint that i had it's okay i'm not mad about it or anything but as soon as it dried i did go ahead and pull off the tape because i was ready to just well i guess you could say pull off the band-aid because i was pretty scared that i hated this um so i peeled off the tape as soon as it dried and well i didn't hate it um so we gonna get that all off and then i will touch up the edges did i touch up the edges this night no i pull off the tape and then we call it good i'm pretty sure and i touch it up and then the very next day so we're just getting it off i thought i would share with you because some of it's pleasing um the good thing about painting like this is you can't see the tiny imperfections unless you get all up in the walls business okay so um from standing at the doorway into the laundry room it looks fine um but when you go in there it's not perfect but nothing nothing is perfect okay i'm not jesus and if i wanted it to be as close to perfect as possible without being jesus well i would have got john to do it but we didn't have time for that and he definitely didn't want to do it and even if he did want to we didn't have time to let him do it you know what i'm saying um he is a perfectionist and it's to the point of it can be annoying sorry honey um but this project took me two and a half days i think it would have took him a whole week to do this because it, all the lines would have been perfect everything would have had to been leveled out no no we did not we did not have time for that i eyeballed every single thing going on here so um we made it work i like it he hasn't said he hates it so i call that a win um but for the most part honestly he doesn't care what i do inside of the house that is just that's always been his thing um, he told me I can decorate or do whatever, do anything that I wanted because stuff like that does not matter to him. So I guess we tested that theory and he did not complain. He didn't say nothing. Um, he just rolled with the punches, but pretty much all he had to do was change a lot. And he didn't complain about that. We already planned on doing that anyways, very soon, especially because we just done the kitchens. I had to take Jonathan to the orthodontist, so I ran into Lowe's and got one of these new lights that we're going to put in there. This is a smaller one than we put in the kitchen, but it's a small room. It's fine. They didn't have the eights there, so we picked up the six because I didn't want to wait on it. We're going to put that in there, and then I ran and also got these. We like to hang hats on these, and I want to be able to get it off the wall quickly if I decide I don't want them in there anymore. So I just got a thing of command hooks for that. But I ran in five below because I saw this shelf on Instagram, on their Instagram account. It popped up and it it has a rod on it that holds up to six pounds. I don't hang stuff often, but every once in a while I will have a shirt or something that I need to hang to dry. So I figured this plus it will have another little decorative area that we can put something on. This was the last one they had. So I figured I actually wanted to get two. But they only had the one, so I figured I would try this one out. And if I like it, I will go back and find another one. And then I just picked up this little rug. I threw mine away that was in there because within days of me putting it down, I got a bleach stain on it. And I, I kept it until it started falling apart. So I figured we'd just use this one for now. It's $5 until we find something better. Maybe that's not going to bleach. Um, I know this will bleach if I get bleach on it. But it's fine. It's whatever. So I got that. So. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden things Spring Rainbow 
trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I follow the golden. Golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold ring. but I am, I'm so done. I hate painting. I love the results of it, but I hate painting. So I'm just gonna touch up this a little bit. We're gonna call it good. There'll be stuff hanging up there so it's not like it's, that's justification for it being not perfect, but it's fine. I'm gonna touch up the white and I'm done with that. We're gonna let this dry really well and then we will hang up our stuff. John's gonna put our light up this evening once the paint is dry, so we're almost done. Almost done. Gold string, gold words, gold anything, golden. I follow only golden, 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 golden things, golden. I follow only golden, golden. So I just used the decor that I already had in here for the most part other than buying the shelf and the little temporary rug. Um, I didn't buy anything for here. I just shopped my house for the other little stuff that I put onto the shelf that you will see in a minute. But I just put up the same stuff I already had. I liked it. There was nothing wrong with it. There was no reason to replace it. And it kind of just, it already matched, you know, the flow of things anyways. So I'm just dusting them off and getting them all ready to go back onto the wall. And then John ended up not putting the light on this night. Um, I don't know why he had a reason, I'm sure. But even if the reason was only valid to him. But anyways, um, I didn't put the light up this night. So we're just going to get the stuff on the walls and then we will come back and do the light the next night. For you, it's going to be right now anyway. So it's no big deal. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it is what it is. So. <laughs>
I'm just not getting any braver Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction I'm looking for someone to show me the way When my map is torn up Give me a light when my torch is blown out see this man yeah he's seen that i was struggling a little bit i didn't even say nothing but he's seen it he could tell and he came in here and he helped me and the project that would have took me five minutes took him 30 because he turned it into a learning experience and i mean granted if i'd done it by myself i probably would have had to tape the stuff on the shelf so it didn't fall off the front but you know what it's fine it's fine i'm very thankful to have him even if sometimes it's annoying it's I fine. know, don't get offended. I'm not actually calling my husband annoying. I mean, I do, but in this moment, I'm not, okay? So it's fine. Mind your own business. Um, I was just stating a fact that, you know, he's better at stuff than I am, so he takes his time. Alright guys, and I know that it says wash, rinse, repeat, and that's what's on shampoo bottles. Okay, I know that, but that sounded, sounded, sound? That was better than wash, dry, repeat, okay? And it's my laundry room. I can do what I want. The light ended up being a little bit of a bigger job than I thought it was going to be. Well, not thought it was going to be. Than I remembered it would be, shall we say. Um, because the light, when we remodeled in here, we like adjusted and moved around some walls. So the light was not in the center of the room. I don't think it ever was. But it was like really close to the wall with the way that we had remodeled. Um, so we wanted to move the light into the center of the room. So we did that. Um, it was... You know, that part was pretty simple, especially when you know what you're doing. I don't, but he does. Um, but when we put the, when we remodeled anyways, we moved the light switch to the other side and it was never actually hooked up. Like the light was on and it had power, but you could not turn off the power. Um, so he did go ahead and fix all of that. He had to go up into the attic and find the cords, run them over to the hoe, all that stuff. It ended up not taking long. Um, but yeah, that's, you'll see, we had a little bit extra when we done this one because like I said, we did move it. So he had to fix the hole from the original light.
I'm going to finish cleaning up this little mess that John made here. Um, it's actually, it's my mess. He done it for me, right? Right. All right. So, um, we're going to get this cleaned up and then I'm going to put this little rug down. This pretty much is a piece of fabric. Okay. We're going to be honest. It's thick fabric. It's cute though. Um, it just seems more like a wall tapestry than a rug. We're getting ready to replace this though. Have no fear. It won't be here much longer. Um, it is cute. I do give it that, but it's just, it's not actually a rug people. It's a piece of cloth. So we're going to get this in and then I'm going to show you. All right. And this is the before. This is actually footage that I took for when I done the house tour last year. Um, because this was a spur of the moment thing. I literally already had the first coat of paint on the wall when I decided I needed to film this because I'd have somebody be like, why didn't you show me? So this is me showing you what it looked like before. Actually, you know, this is last year. This is before and this is now. And I am going to point out that we do not have baseboards in here yet. I know we, we suck at those things. Okay. That's just the truth, but we don't have baseboards in here. I thought that we would have enough pieces left over for me to be able to do this room and we did it. So I'm going to pick up one of those next time we're at Lowe's. This wall over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If you see that hole back there, we have a grate to go over it. Um, but I'm not sure what we're going to do back here. I don't have much space. This is where the air handler is. So, um, I can't actually, you know, cover up that space or I don't want anything really clogging it up. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe one little shelf, not shelf, one little cabinet there, maybe just some floating shelves. I'm not a hundred percent sure. And until I'm a hundred percent sure, we're just going to leave it plain. Very soon though, we will be putting down the baseboards and putting the cover on that air handler section. So this is what we're working with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with us. And as always, remember to show grace, be content and live blessed until next time. Bye guys.